Hello, hello, my name's Claire. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Claire's Itchy Feet. Today, I'm in the Cotswolds. I'm at the Cotswolds House Hotel and Spa. It's Tuesday and I'm here for a midweek relaxation break with my aunt. And it's raining and it's a little bit miserable, but it's actually kind of nice. The plan for the next 24 hours, I suppose, is to relax, <laughs> try and relax. Um, we've got some spa treatments. They have like a whole like pools and sauna and jacuzzi. We've got a really nice suite with a huge bath and it looks like very comfortable beds and TV. We've got meal books. Tomorrow morning, I'm probably gonna have a walk around the town after breakfast. <sighs> I could maybe do it today, but honestly, after the drive, I'm kind of tired. So I might just go and have a little nap before my, um, my treatment begins. I do love a good spa. I already feel much more relaxed. So I had the trio treatments because I wanted to sample a little bit of everything and generally just needed to relax. So I thought that'd be a nice one to do. So that is a back, neck and shoulder massage, a facial, which I haven't had a facial in the longest time, seriously. And then while I put the mask on, I do a scalp massage as well. And it was really nice, it was relaxing. I definitely fell asleep, I think, at parts. It felt like it was a, re a good amount of time as well. I didn't feel like it was rushed. You know, sometimes you're like, oh, just stay there for a little bit longer. I felt like, wow, this is like, I felt like I was getting a lot. And now I'm just relaxing in the pool room. My auntie is having her treatment done. We couldn't go at the same time, which actually has been okay, because it just means that we can have some chill time. Um, so here there are, there's a pool, there's some like jacuzzi area within the pool and there's also a steam room which was crazy hot, I lasted about five minutes in there. <laughs> and then I'm just sat on the bed, there's a place where you can make yourself some tea. So I'm having some tea and some water and chilling before dinner. Big restaurant is a restaurant within the Cotswold House Hotel. The decor I was in awe of and the attention to detail and the small design touches really is exquisite. The carefully crafted menu showcases locally sourced ingredients and expertly prepared dishes that cater to a variety of tastes. Dining here isn't just a meal, it's an experience and it leaves a lasting impression. The menu is small enough to know you're eating in a good quality restaurant and big enough to have several choices. And of course, breakfast is included. You can choose a selection from the continental menu and there is also a cooked menu that you can order from. Okay, so obviously this is a flying visit for me. I've literally been here. I will have been here for less than 24 hours. Um, so I wanted to get the best information that I could about this area, about what to do here. Um, so I spoke to the lovely ladies on reception at Cotswold House Hotel. And basically this is like the jumping off point for the Cotswolds. So this is the start of a hundred miles of really quaint, beautiful little villages and amazing walks and National Trust gardens and all of that. So this is where people start. They come here, you've got the tourist information, um, office and you can go and you can get all the information about the walks, different things to do, stay here for a night or so and then you move on to the next place and it goes all the way up to Bath. I am just going to have a walk around the town, have a look at the architecture. So I'm in Chipping, Chipping Camden, Camden, Campton, Chipping Campton. <laughs> I didn't even know where I was, I just arrived last night randomly in this place. It's very beautiful. I'm going to go to the tourist information to try and get as much as I can so that I can start writing about stuff on the blog and also plan some more adventures down here because this is like kind of dipping my toe in the water so to speak um 
So the plan is to come back here probably with the family and of course the dog. Hotel is dog friendly and baby friendly and they even have a babysitting service if you book it in advance, which is a godsend, quite frankly. <laughs> Especially if you wanna have a nice evening meal. Okay, so I have now walked around the whole town and had a really good conversation with the guys in the tourist information and feel like I have a pretty good grip. So this is the place where people come at the start of the Cotswold Way, which is 102 miles between here and Bath. I mean, obviously some people end here, some people start here, but anyway, it's, it's the point. Um, so this is a destination in itself. So you can come here and stay for a few days um, like I did, um, or you can use this as a starting point or the finishing point. Each of the places in the Cotswolds has its kind of thing, the thing that's special for. And here I'm told it's all about the food. So <laughs> there are, I, got, I got a list of different restaurants where you can come and eat here, where the food's really good, especially it seems to be Indian food here. There's a very good Sri Lankan chef in one of the pubs. There's a few other Indian places. All of the pubs have really good food. And you can also do a bit of a self-made pub crawl here because there are seven pubs in this small little town. The church, St. James's Church, it's nice. It's gonna take you like a few minutes to walk up there and maybe five or 10 minutes to walk around. Wouldn't say it's that impressive. I think it's more about how old it is. There is a textile museum, which is just across from the church. I didn't go in there, um, but they have a permanent exhibition, which is all about local artists and their work. And then they also have a contemporary exhibition, which kind of changes. And that's by uh, funded artists by a specific project. And it looked really nice, but I just didn't have time to go in there because I'm in a little bit of a tight schedule. Cream tea, high tea, afternoon tea. Tea is obviously always a thing that you want to do in England. There's a couple of places to go to. Actually, the hotel where I stayed, Cotswold House Hotel, have a spectacular afternoon tea. And I saw a few people eating it yesterday. I was very jealous. And um, the other place is the Bantham Tea Rooms. Apparently, that's very good as well. But I think a lot of the pubs and restaurants here will, will be able to rustle you up a cream tea. Lots of very cute shops. Um, antique shops, textiles. Um, house things. There's lots of really nice shops and there's even a charity shop at the end of the street and um, towards the end of the town, sorry, um, which has some really nice homeware stuff in it. It's a very dog friendly area. A lot of people come here on like doggy holidays. So my hotel, the Cotswold House Hotel, that is dog friendly pub. Almost all of the shops and restaurants and places that I've seen here in the pubs are all dog friendly. So who comes on holiday here? Um, lots of different people, like I said, foodies come here if they just want to eat. Um, I would say there's a lot more older people here and there's a lot of Americans here. Maybe um, families, again, who like to be outdoors, who like to walk. It's definitely someone that I'm going to come back with the family, start here and do the 102 miles up to Bath. Um, I think it'd be a really nice break to stay a night in all the different villages and do lots of walking and be outdoors and definitely bring the dog. I'm really, really impressed. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it's been useful to you. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video. Bye.